Hey champs, let's start with the first poem of our textbook, Don't Give Up. Yes, Don't Give Up is a poem that has been written by Phoebe Carey. This poem tells us that all the great and good things in the world are accomplished only by patience and relentless efforts. We should not be disheartened by failures but instead keep trying. So now let's take a look at the entire poem once, read it, then try to analyze it. Right? Don't give up. If you've tried and have not won, never stop for crying. All that's great and good is done just by patient trying. Though young birds in flying fall, still their wings grow stronger and the next time they can keep up a little longer. Though the sturdy oak has known many a blast that bowed her, she has risen again and grown loftier and prouder. If by easy work you beat, who the more will prize you? Gaining victory from defeat? That's the test that tries you. Yes, a wonderful, positive, motivational poem that we have. The very first stanza, what is she saying? If you've tried and have not won, never stop for crying. All that's great and good is done just by patient trying. Yes, we all fail in life sometimes. But does failure mean that it is the end? Do we need to stop after it? Of course not. The poet says that if you failed at something, don't cry over it. Great things are achieved by those who keep trying. Right? Try, try, but don't cry. That's exactly what she is saying here. Next, two young birds in flying fall Still their wings grow stronger and the next time they can keep up a little longer. Right? Here the poet gives the example of young birds. Initially a bird may fall and injure its wings also. But what if the bird says, oh, it hurts too much, I am not going to fly at all. Right? It never does that. It keeps trying and eventually it learns to fly. Yes, this example is similar like when a child learns to walk. Or when you learn to ride the bicycle perhaps, you fall down. Yes, you do bruise a wound, a knee or something. But yet we keep on trying and that's how we eventually learn. The next example. Though the sturdy oak has known many a blast that bowed her, she has risen again and grown loftier and prouder. Yes, the oak tree. The poet gives the example of the oak tree. She tells us to face challenges of time, to rise up taller, stronger and prouder. When a tree is growing up, specifically the oak tree, yes, many a times people break a branch or two, cut it a little to use it. It may face harsh weather, but if does the tree say that I don't want to live anymore, right? It still fights back despite all the odds. And when you fight back in life, you in fact become stronger and prouder in life, right? You become full of life. That's exactly what the poet also says. If by easy work you beat, who the more will prize you? Gaining victory from defeat. That's the test that tries you. The poet says here that victory becomes even more sweeter after you have overcome defeats. Yes, it's like a challenge that you achieved. When you achieve something after striving hard, everyone also will praise you. They will also prize you. They will understand that you have achieved some great feat. Right? Initial failures are a test. And if you stay determined, you will win sooner or later. Take the examples of all the great personalities in the world. All of them have faced failures and they have faced them bravely. They have overcome the challenges and instead taken the failures as stepping stones to success, right? And that's exactly what the poet also motivates us to do. Thank you.